When did I start reading comics? Well, I've always read comics ever since I was a little kid. Um, my mum used to take us to the naffy so we could buy comics to keep us quiet during the week. And uh, whenever we'd go and visit my grandparents, we'd uh, be taken to the local newsagents to buy comics to keep us interested. So I've always been reading them. Um, the fact they were quite small, digest size, specifically the war comics, meant that uh, they were easily taken on holiday or if we were traveling and uh, they didn't take up much space in my bedroom. What is it about Commando that I love? Well, I might be biased, but what I love about Commando most was always the covers. That's what I always saw on the shelves and that's what always drew my attention. What makes, for me, a great issue of Commando? Well, for me, a great issue of Commando comprises of a great cover, great internal artwork, and a killer story. What is your favorite cover of all time? Literally anything by Ian Kennedy or Geordie Penalva. Those guys are the gold standard to me. What is the favorite issue I've worked on? Um, my favorite issue I remember working on, I think was Iron Resistance, um, which had a great story and lovely internal artwork. Uh, the chance to depict a varied bunch of characters uh, being female in different outfits of the time just made a nice change from what I usually do. And um, the colours, I really pushed the colours on that one, the reds and the blues, I really wanted to go all out. Um, so that just gave it like a, a playful edge that I really, really enjoyed. Do you have any family connections with Commando and was it passed down to me by an older relative? Well, my parents both served in the RAF, so in many ways military life was the norm for me. Um, I was surrounded by, you know, uh, tanks, soldiers and aircraft from an early age um, and in many ways war comics were a way of dreaming about what everybody got up to on camp uh, when I wasn't looking. What is your favourite subject land sea or air? I'd have to say air uh, there's something about military hardware in general but aircraft specifically seem to tick all my boxes. Which aircraft do you prefer? Spitfire or Hurricane? Um, well, Spitfires are definitely the coolest, but Hurricanes are the connoisseur's choice. <laughs> what would I like Commando to do in the next 60 years? Well, I would like Commando to still be in print, uh, telling exciting stories, um, all set against pertinent theatres of war. It's what they do best. What are my five words to describe Commando? Um, adventure, drama, bravery, uh, heroism, timeless. What would I tell someone who's never read Commando? Well, I tell them to go read it. If there was a Commando about me, what? would the title be? <laughs> um, I have thought about this on and off, and I think it would be called The Art of War. And it would be about a, the escapades of a plucky war artist um, who's embedded in a platoon as they navigate their way through key moments um, in combat. I mean, obviously, that's not literally about me, uh, but you know, I can dream. Favourite theatre of war setting or period? Um, I think my favourite time period would have to be World War II. Um, in particular, the Battle of Britain and the invasion of Normandy. Navy, Army or Air Force? Well, in terms of coordinated and combined war effort, all of them. But for me, personally, I'm an RAF lad at heart. What would my agent code name be? I imagine my code name would be Sura, as in the French impressionist artist. But I think all the squaddies around me would call me Sura Rat. 
Who would be my dream cast for a Commando film? Okay, Commando film cast. My dream cast would be, I think, Michael Fassbender, Olivia Cook, and Daniel Kaluuya uh, would be the main characters. I don't know what the story is. Um, Charles Dance, Peter Stormare, and Helen Mirren would be in there as well. They're great actors. Um, and Benedict Wong. Um, I think that's a pretty cool cast. Can we get somebody to contact their agent? <laughs>